take a look at this 3D animation that I made using AI. At 30, Sam's world was cubicles. One night fed up, he filmed himself fixing a squeaky chair, adding humor, and posted it. People loved it. Suddenly, Sam's nights were filled with videos, getting views and growing. I did this without having any 3D animation experience, using six different AI tools from free to paid. So let me show you how to make a 3D animation like this in just five simple steps. First, if you're wondering if you could be successful with this on YouTube, this channel here called Bible in a Nutshell is getting 1.4 4 million views the last 30 days and making anywhere from one to $17,000 per month. You can see that most of the videos are fully AI generated and they're actually super high quality, which is obviously why people want to watch. So can we make something like this ourselves? Let's begin with step number one. I'm going to go to ChatGPT and ask it to give me ideas and I'll make sure that I'm going to use the ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas. Now let's do some brainstorming. Let's write, make a short 20 second underdog story. This first one talks about climbing. I'm gonna ask it to make it more Pixar style. Now about a small squirrel named Pip. This one about Leo wanting to become the greatest kite flyer. All right, I found this one going from nine to five job to being a content creator. It might be a little bit more relatable to more people. So this is my favorite version so far, but the ending is not so good. So I can just highlight it since we're in the canvas and I'll ask it to change it. There we go. I think we got a short script to start off with, but now we obviously need to go to step number two, make the images. I'm gonna go to crea.ai and click on generate images. This is one of the best ways to use Flux, but also I need to make sure that the script itself, we split it into multiple different parts. So I'm going to change it up and write some prompts so we can actually get the visuals here. All I need to do is to click on this button, edit or explain. I'm gonna prompt it, add a visual prompt that I can use for image generation in brackets. I'll just keep doing this for multiple of them. There we have all the scenes bracketed out so we can actually create cool images to add to our video. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it directly into Flux. I'll make sure to add the aspect ratio 16 by nine because this will be important for us later. Also, because we want a 3D animation style to be consistent throughout the entire video, I'm gonna go to styles and I'm searching for something that looks like 3D animation. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is what we want. This style would be really cool actually. Let's test it out. Let's click on generate. <laughs> That's definitely not what we want. I'm just gonna try to prompt it by adding in the end in the style of Pixar 3D animation. And yeah, there we have a lot better result to make it even more consistent. I'll make sure to add Sam, a 30 year old man with brown hair. Let's try one more time. Yep, all of these are really good. I just want a more cubicle like. This is getting better. <laughs> I really like this one. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going and download a bunch of them. Okay, I'm just gonna do the next prompt. One of the main issues I'm finding is the consistency of character. As you can see, this guy is gray haired. He looks a lot older than 30. This guy even got like a balloon nose. There we go, fixing a chair. Yeah, we got the camera out. What is this guy gonna do with the chair? So now it's just getting more and more of these images. Trying to get some close up shots as well. I'm pretty impressed by the images so far and I can't wait to turn them into actual AI videos. So stick with me for the next steps. So I now have around 30 images here that I can't wait to put into an AI video generator to see how they turn out. But before that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Also comment down below AI video if you want me to make more videos around AI video generation. But before we actually get to make videos out of this, we have to go to step number three, create the voiceover. I'm going to go to 11labs.io because this is the best AI voiceover tool that I know of. I'll take the script that we have before, just copy paste in here. 
make sure to delete all the brackets. Now that we have the script, I'm gonna go to the voices tab in the bottom and click on find more voices. Here we have hundreds, if not thousands of voices that you can use. So let's listen to one of them right now. The Boston mayor who grew up in Revere was aware that... <laughs> Not that one. Looking for a conversational real New Yorker? Whoa, this one? Egal, ob sie ein Wein. German. I'm kind of looking for a masculine male voiceover. Story time. I have a smooth and sexy voice that can be used for when. Nope. Well, well. Look what we have here. A Ooh. ranger caught off his guard. That is actually really good. Failure doesn't mean you are a failure, it just means you haven't succeeded yet. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Let's try that one. Let's bring out Tom. At 30, Sam's world was cubicles, gray and dull. One night fed up, he filmed himself fixing a squeaky chair, adding humor, and posted it. People loved it. I want to see what happens if we do a girl voice. At 30, Sam's world was cubicles, gray and dull. One night fed up, he filmed himself fixing a squeaky chair, adding humor, and posted it. People no. loved it. It sounds like a news story or something. At 30, Sam's world was cubicles, gray and dull. All right, perfect. Let's download and jump right into step number four, AI video generation. So I'm going to be using Runway ML and I'm also going to be using Kling AI. These are the two best AI video generators that I tested amongst seven of the best ones. You can get a new career earning you $92,000 a year without any degree. All you need to do is to take this online certification. It's called the Data Analytics Professional Certificate by Coursera, which is an online course provider offering certificates from 275 plus leading universities. As you can see, this course is taught by Google and it comes with a certificate. Currently, 2.3 million people have already enrolled with over 141,000 reviews. It's beginner friendly, so you don't need any prior experience or education to get started. But what's most important is that it's flexible and self-paced, so you can fit it around your busy lifestyle. And in just six months, you can get job-ready skills for entry-level roles in data analytics. What's even cooler is that completing it gives you access to Google's hiring consortium of over 150 employers, which means you're much more likely to be seen by a potential employer. Scott here, learning from the US, said that he successfully transitioned out of education and secured a full-time position in data analytics. This man from India said that he's so grateful to have discovered Coursera and thankful to Google for creating such a great informative program. Maria said it provided me with the knowledge needed to acquire a data analyst position. And you can get access to this course for just $49 a month. So if you're ready to invest in your future, Coursera now offers a seven day free trial. It's your chance to get access to premium content and resources that will propel your career forward. So don't miss out and join millions of learners worldwide today by clicking the link in the description down below. Thanks to Coursera for sponsoring this section of the video and jump right into step number four, AI video generation. So I'm going to be using Runway ML and I'm also going to be using Kling AI. AI. These are the two best AI video generators that I tested amongst seven of the best ones. And I basically just placed all the best images that I had directly in here. And I made videos out of them on both Runway and on Kling. So I just want to show them back to back and we can decide which one is better. First, let's check out Runway here, zooming in closer and the face getting more and more worried. Really good establishing shot there. This is how it turned out on Kling. It does seem a little bit more alive and a lot of more facial expressions. Here's the next shot from Runway here, having a smile, looking at the chair. Very good shot. Kling with the exact same image. You can see more of a going to the left side of the camera and also looking more down on the hands. I actually like this shot a little bit more. Remember, same prompt and same image for both of them. This one I found really cool from Runway here. Just social media likes popping up in front of him. Here is the variation from Kling. Oh, wow. Even better. 
do you like this one better or the previous one? I don't know. There is something about the warping and stuff like that from the hearts, but I like that there's so many popping up. I think I like Kling better on this one. Here's a simple zooming shot into the YouTube app. He's uploading his first video. Here is the same from Kling and you can see that it actually opens an app. The YouTube logo is not really that great. So Kling not winning on this one rather use runway. Only a few more shots. Here is the holding a box of all my things from runway. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. Let's check out Kling here. From the beginning, you can see that he's talking a lot more and the movement is a lot different in comparison with runway. I don't like this one as much as runway. Next one, he's back and filming videos living his dream life as a creator. Here's the cling version. Yeah, just a lot more dynamic, a lot more focused. So I like that there's a lot more motion going on here. And the expressions on the face are just beautiful. Almost the last one now working on something small on the bench from runway here. Jeez, I love how minimal movement there is. Here is the same generation from cling. A lot more movement, things happening in the hand. Not sure about this one. And we have the final I am a creator shot <laughs> from Runway here. <laughs> he is in love. <laughs> the exact same from Kling here. He's more shocked and does not seem to be as good. So yeah, all in all, both of them doing a fantastic job. I do like the movements and creativity of the camera motion in Kling a little bit more than Runway. Both of them do have camera slow push in and dolly zoom, even camera parallax effect on some of the prompts. So now we have the videos and all that's left is step number five, putting it all together. I'm going to use the Vinci Resolve 19 because this is the best free video editor that I know of. Just make a new project, take the audio from 11 labs, download all the videos from Kling and Runway and drag them all into the Vinci. I'll start by dragging the audio to the timeline. I'll do all the Kling videos first and I'll put the Runway ones on top. Now I'm just going to do a a little editing time lapse. All right, I made a quick edit here and it's looking really good. But to really sell it, I need to add some music. So I'm going to go to pixabay.com and let's listen to a couple of them. Okay, I think we found one. I'm going to download it. And remember, this is all copyright free, so you won't get any copyright strikes. Let's drag it into DaVinci. Lastly, I'm going to add subtitles by clicking on timeline and create subtitles from audio. I'll do a maximum of 30 characters per line and click on create. Now I'm going to make him stand out a little bit more by clicking track, then add a drop shadow, offsetting it a tiny bit and making it a lot blacker. Now, after making the subtitles, I think we are finished. I could do a lot more effects and transitions between the scenes, but they fit so well. So let's take a look at the final result. At 30, Sam's world was cubicles. One night fed up, he filmed himself fixing a squeaky chair, adding humor, and posted it. People loved it. Suddenly, Sam's nights were filled with videos, getting views and growing. Sam left his 9 to 5 behind. Now his days were vibrant filled with creativity, passion, and making others smile. So there you have it, everyone. We just made a full 3D animation using AI tools. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Also check the description if you're interested in AI tools to get work done faster. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.